Yo, this is your boy Shay Speaks, and we got a good one for you guys today. And uh, into the bad lane, season three, episode ten, Raven's Feather, Phoenix's Blood. And this episode was pretty cool. I really liked it. Um, for the most part, my boy Sunny, he was a uh, damn near nearly fatally injured after last week's episode when Pilgrim pretty much just threw him out the damn window. Uh, he had to get himself patched up. For the most part, he killed a couple of uh, Pilgrim's uh, sir, uh, men with one of the um, <clears throat> with one of the gifts, helping him out. I can't remember her name at the very moment. I feel like MK is actually on to her, actually. I mean, given the fact that Sunny has killed already three of, of uh, Pilgrim's people, I have a feeling that since MK and the rest of the uh, the indebted servants of Pilgrim have already kind of caught on to his stench, I mean, it's only a matter of time before they actually try to take her out. In fact, even the girl said that he can't help Sunny uh, meet, I guess, meet back up with the witch because the witch is really the only person that can actually help Sunny defeat Pilgrim. Not only that, but I think Amarosa actually, I believe that's what her name is, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, while Pilgrim was taking a bath, she actually snitched on the girl and said, Look, well, you might want to keep an eye on her. Even the fact that she cannot open her, use her gift without cutting herself. You know, she asked uh, her, How'd she, how'd she do that? And she said, Well, Enkei taught me to think of the most thing that, that's caused the most, most pain, the most, the most painful memory opens your gift. And so, that was when Pilgrim killed Caster, her friend, her brother. And so, I mean, why wouldn't that open up your gift? I know it opened mine, that's for damn sure. So I think Pilgrim and MK, they're going to kind of have a bit of a conflict. MK might just die. I'm not saying that he will, but there's a possibility that he just might. Um, and throughout this episode, for the most part, we just see uh, the Abbot actually knock Minerva unconscious. If you don't know who Minerva is, that's the Widow. I know that for a fact. Um, so she basically was given the task of fighting her, her inner demon her inner demon and while she was in her subconscious she had to fight she pretty much got mk'd which is where she actually had to face her inner demons and uh somehow come out of this and actually retain, restore her gift which is that so that was the whole deal that the avid made with minerva if you restore if you help me with the i'll restore your gift and so she basically went to the same trial as mk you know he was attacked by a bunch of ninjas with ninja stars got cut her gift awakened, and so on. But as she got closer to the Badlands and realized that she was now the king of the queen of the Badlands, uh, comes to find out, actually, as there's a new threat by the name of Raven. And mind you, also, they played off that little uh, scorpion Easter egg from last week's uh, episode title, being the fact that the, uh, the group that the Widow was under has a scorpion symbol. And when she asks, well, what the hell is a scorpion? And her most trusted person I loved her the most said, look, well, you chose the scorpion because you wanted, you know, pretty much to rule over the badlands, right? And so with that being said, you know, she ended up actually killing that person because she thought that he was actually traitorous, which was not the case. And that's when we see Raven. Well, before that, I really liked how Baji was tied into this. He said, you know, Minerva, you always were your worst enemy. <laughs> and I like how he just passively said that, and he kind of just nudged to the whole premise of this. You know, because when Minerva was fighting herself, her inner demon, aka the Raven, she said the, the exact same thing. She said, Baji was right. You really are your worst enemy. And she actually ended up stabbing her. And when she was stabbed, that's when she awakened. Now, for a minute, I thought that was a little bit awkward. Maybe, I think maybe possibly uh, the Raven really truly is who Minerva is. But then again, at the same time, I believe the woman that we saw in red, that which is our true Minerva, um, out of conscious, um, I'm sorry, consciously, um, I believe that she should have won, but you know, I don't, I don't write for this show. And, and uh, secondly, I think possibly the Raven was just the metaphor to show that, okay, whenever you need to learn how to, you need to take flight, you need to harness, you know, you know, your strength and who you really are, the, the tyrant, and take back what's yours. If you want to, if you really want to kill a pilgrim, this is the way to do it. And so I think that's what's going to happen next week. You know, when Sonny finds the witch, you know, he realizes how this is all going to go down. I think this is all going to come to a nice, epic conclusion. It's, again, I'm sorry for the show to be ending because I really enjoyed it from day one. It was definitely dope. Uh, but this has been your boy, Sheriff Speaks, man. I love you guys. Uh, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Also, subscribe to my boys. Little boy gaming and he's giving for more gaming and live stream videos and pretty dope stuff. Peace and love.